Hi, this is Richard Pearce from Build a Joomla website with a quick Joomla tutorial. If you've chosen to build your Joomla website inside a subfolder of an existing hosting account, you might be unsure of the easiest way to replace the old site with your new one. There are a few ways you can do this, but in this tutorial, I'll show you how to achieve this using your hosting control panel. I'm using cPanel, but the principles apply with other control panels as long as they include a file manager as you'll see shortly. Step one is to back up everything. If you mess this up and you don't have a backup, you could lose both your new site and your old one. You can do this using the backup feature in cPanel. Step two, log into your control panel and go to File Manager. Step three is to navigate to the folder that contains your web files, which in cPanel is public underscore HTML. Your current website files are displayed along with the folder that contains the Joomla website. Step four, click the new folder button and enter a name like old. Step five, click the select all button above the listing, but then deselect the folder containing your Joomla installation. And deselect the new folder you created in the previous step. You do this by holding the control key on Windows or command key on a Mac and clicking each folder. Step six. Click the Compress button. This opens a new window. Choose the first option, Zip Archive. Then in the address box, insert the name of the new folder, followed by a forward slash, and this appears after the public underscore HTML portion, and then give the zip file a helpful name such as archive.zip. So in this example, the full path is forward slash public underscore HTML forward slash old forward slash archive dot zip. Then click the compress files button. This compresses all of your old website files and stores them as a zip file in the folder you created in step four. When this process is complete, you might like to navigate to this folder and confirm that the zip file was created correctly. Right click on the file name and choose view to check the contents of the zip file. Step seven, return to the main folder if necessary, and then select all. And once again, make sure you deselect the Joomla folder, as well as the archive folder you created. Step eight, click the delete button, and then confirm the deleted action. As long as you do this properly, this step will just delete the current live site files. Step nine, navigate to the Joomla folder. Select all and click the move file button. In the path box, remove the folder name so it just reads public underscore HTML. Then click move files. When complete, navigate to the main folder again and check that the Joomla files are there. Step 10, select configuration.php and click the code editor button.
scroll down towards the bottom and find the line starting with public log path and at the end of this line you'll probably find that the name of the previous development folder is included. Remove this so it reads public underscore HTML forward slash logs. Do the same on the next line so the line ends with public underscore HTML forward slash TMP. Click the Save Changes button towards the top right. Now open a new browser tab and go to your web address. With any luck, all will be fine, but check all pages, especially any images and links. If something does go wrong, you can move the Joomla files back to where they were, move the archive file into the main directory, and use the extract button to return things to the way they were while you try to troubleshoot the problem. If you do have problems, the quickest solution might be to simply try making a backup of the Joomla site using a Kiba backup, and restore it into the main folder using a Kiba kickstart. This is demonstrated in our Beyond the Basics series. But before you do that, there are a few things you can check. Go back to the configuration.php file and ensure that there's nothing entered in the line starting with public live site. If there is, make sure the previous folder name is not present. Another place to check is the .ht access file if you're using one. If you entered something next to the rewrite base line, comment this out by inserting a hash at the beginning of the line. And that's how you move a Joomla site from a subfolder to the main folder using cPanel. For more great Joomla tutorials just like this one, head over to our website at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com.